season, right? Uh, he adapts in the meta. He continues to play at the top of his game repeatedly. It, it doesn't matter what changes, uh, you know, there's always something that's always constant, right? Death, taxes, and boomy. That at least, you know, make <laughs> yes, a good run here. True. So, <laughs> so we'll definitely see how boomy's adapting here because let's keep in mind, right? I mean, uh, the battle boots. So that should be very interesting to see how that plays out. And as we can see right now, <laughs> boomy is ready to get Tezka rocking and rolling. See, this is an interesting concept that Bio and I talked about yesterday because we actually saw a really long matchup with Addy Mestic running the same Tezka Battle Boots combo. And the thing was that on a smaller stage like Small Haven, we saw a lot of consistent three, two, one, frog. This is where and we saw people like Lily and Addy Messick win Battle Boots strengths over and over again, especially this offstage play. But Boomy's actually we starting off really strong. Not a single weapon wubs his favor just yet. Boomy playing complete weapon and stage denial, but eventually Skiff, those guitars do get picked up, and I'm wondering what the response will be against the Battle Boots. Oh, well, right now, this is a great edge guard here. And he's like, oh, gets the wall touch. Unfortunate, but that could have been a huge turnaround because Boomy's been dominating the entire beginning, and Wubs finally getting a weapon in hand. Almost made a huge play to actually make a statement here in game one yeah and so far these guitars are finding a little bit more work boomy's more on the reserve this time around ensuring okay look i have to be more careful about my approaches now that wubs has those guitars and can enter from pretty much every angle it's red to orange though skiff no one has a clear decision win just yet but as i say that boomy takes the first stock off of wubs yeah, I mean, it was only a matter of time till someone took that first stock there, but we do have Boomy coming out on top. Those battle boots definitely uh, coming out to play here. As we see Wubs now with a cannon in hand, trying to make something happen. All right. Tries to find their way back on the stage, but not for too much longer as Boomy starts to get back on the offensive. But this turn around here, Wubs now in control, now not in control. This game's out of control. That's what I'll tell you. But the only people here are in control is us. And we have to wait and see now, what can those cannons do? The cannons so far finding a lot more struggle than the guitars possibly did. Battle Boots again, kick a fury, a lot of punishes and a perfect one for Wubs. Boomy barely gets back onto the stage. That's crazy. I mean, there's probably only a few pixels left between Boomy losing that stock and actually touching the wall. But what happened to Wubs? But Wubs, the same exact thing that happened to Boomy, a struggle to get back onto this age. Great ledge guarding coming out from Demon here from both of these players. But it's almost like stock number one again. Well, if you're a fan of Boomy, it's still is stock number one. But Wubs struggling to find that weapon in the beginning, only after evading the ledge guard from Boomy, finally picks up those guitars yet again. Mm hmm. Yeah, there we go. Finally getting on the board, too. This is definitely what Wubs needs. With guitars in hand, you know, with the fast damage that they can rack up, this is definitely still very doable. I mean, and even if they don't have the guitars, the cannon, you know, with a couple good reads, can just wipe stocks clean here. So we'll definitely see if Wubs is able to battle back. Right now, it's definitely not looking too good Ooh. as Boomy continues the dominance here. These battle boots are coming in hot. They are destructive, and Wubs' biggest struggle so far was picking up that initial weapon after the stock loss. Gets back onto the stage, guitars back in hand, Ooh. but unfortunately we say the stock being brought back, it's lost yet again, and what a clean game one from Boomy. Yeah, that was definitely uh, a bit tough there for Wubs. I don't know if it's the nerves or is it just, you just happen to get caught up in a couple of awkward scenarios, and that's kind of what led to your downfall there, but it was definitely uh rough like after the first like initial combos that wubs had you know wubs was definitely like in the game and stuff like that but as soon as boomy got going like it was just it just snowballed like really terribly you can actually check it out here by the damage dump the damage taken and more than doubling damage actually putting out here I i'd like to think that wubs can make definitely you know make a bit of a turnaround here try to get this back but it is certainly not looking good yeah i mean this damage distribution tells the entire story too boomy entirely relied on having the battle boots do most of the work here now we've been seeing that a lot in winter championship a lot of people experimenting with one of the first official tournaments with battle boots being a mainstay and so really for players that aren't playing tezka it's a discovery period how do you get around the battle boots how do you stay away from it's such oppressive opening to strings and as we see wubs walk in sakura again that's gonna be the big question going in the game number two can the cannon define a little bit more damage or even some justice going into maybe the mid game here but it all comes down to wubs just picking up that weapon first mm -hmm. 
Well, here's the thing. Uh, Wubs actually has <laughs> nine, nine on the uh, the weapon speed here, the, t the attack speed. So, like, this is actually going to be uh, interesting. There's actually a combo. I'm not sure if it's definitely been changed before, but I've I've seen it. <laughs> I've seen it happen. But there's a oh, combo no. that you basically can zero to death, I think, off of just just one read, too. So, like, we'll definitely see. What Ooh. what happened there, <laughs> Booby? <laughs> Booby. Booby's feeling right, really so confident. Yeah. <laughs> It definitely, you know, may maybe they're just mashing, oh. you know? <laughs> maybe, maybe. I mean, look, whatever smashing, mashing just happened off stage. It was great again. It just nearly put so much fear into Wubs. But Boomy's so low on that first stock. A simple signature from Wubs can change the course of this game. Mm hmm, 100%. And right now, okay, Boomy managing to keep Wubs. Wow. Fantastic turnaround there, actually reversing the edge guard, now having stage control and weapon serving Boomy in the process. And this is so good. Wubs full control of the stage, goes for a simple and end sig and is able to take uh, Wubumi's first stock away. Retains the weapon too, goes over to more preferred Katars and Boomy without the battle boots. We haven't really seen a lot of action just yet. These gauntlets, they did appear a little bit at the end of the first stock, but again, Wubs easy to evade away. It's this off stage ledge guard play that Boomy almost solely has to rely on for the gauntlets. Mm -hmm. Well, man, Wubs definitely turning around this game too, <laughs> letting us know that they're still very much within this set. But we do see Boomy try to slow things down here, try to extinguish some of the fires. They are still quite a bit behind, but you know they're letting all of us know they are still very much in this game. Great weapon, Starve. Make sure Wubs cannot pick a single weapon. Different from Demon Island, though, is that Wubs is not going for the unarmed strings. Not even trying for a setup until the cannons there. Boom! Off stage. That's a full stock lead for Wubs. And we got a little bit of some tots coming out here, too. I mean, I still think the boom we taught earlier w was probably a mistake. <laughs> you were just a little too close to your opponent to be doing that. But Wub's definitely, you know, flexing here a little bit. But look at this damage output, man. Oh. It's incredible. These weapons are incredible to see, and Wubs isn't even going to bother for the ledge guard entirely. Does give some space to the Boomy, allows more racked up damage with the space being controlled, and now the battle boots almost being conditioned. Wubs is purposely leaving Boomy on the side of the stage. It's a big struggle. Mm -hmm. Oh man, another one here. Wubs is feeling confident Woo! for what okay, I consider Wubs. was essentially a, a misinput taunt. <laughs> Wubs definitely took some sort of feeling to that and turned it all the way up to 15 as he dominated Boomy in this game too. I mean, I don't blame Wubs either. Definitely down a game, needed to have that spark to come back and all it took was hopefully one missed input to get that spark going. But again, Wubs, the way they've been able to play a little bit more oppressively, bouncing around the battle boots option that Boomy's been bringing out, took advantage of the fact that we didn't really get to see an appearance of gauntlets in game number one. Battle Boots still reign supreme for Boomy, but the Gauntlets needed to come out a little bit more. And because of that, Wubs found much more entry potential with those Katars and brought game number two. Yeah, 100%. You're absolutely correct on that part, but man, Wubs is <laughs> certainly feeling a certain way. All right, great stuff though. Actually keeping Boomy Weapon Starved at the very beginning, getting only a little bit of damage racked on, nothing too crazy, but now Boomy's got these Gauntlets in hand. And hey, maybe he can remind us that Tezka certainly does have another weapon that they are capable of using. Yeah, the, these Gauntlets are gonna definitely be the anti-win condition for Boomy right now, or I guess the win condition for Wubs, if you're a fan of Wubs. It's gonna be a matter of just being getting around these brute forces weapons, and the gauntlets have been around for such a long time. You have strategies if you're on the Katars, but again, these weapons with so much capabilities, especially once you get that opening hit, there's a lot more to be discovered. Bob's mm. off stage, a great crown pound for Boomy, and that's stock number one. Yep, definitely uh, Boomy answering back here. <laughs> I assume seeing actual taunts come out to play, it's <laughs> probably like, all right, listen. I see that you, you're a little bit tilted. I'm gonna raise my game to your level and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm all about. And right now, man, Boomy is doing amazing. But the still is only game three and it's one a piece too. Yeah, this is entirely winnable for either one of these players. I've been so happy to see Wubs going for these micro plays, these interactions to kind of evade Boomy, especially reading when they think Boomy's gonna go for the entry on the battle boots, it gets caught out twice in a row. Ledge guard is there, a great end save to take Wubs off stage. I want to wait and see if that neutral can keep on going, and it most certainly does. Wubs is having such a hard time getting off this ledge. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
There we go. Gets the weapon throw. Oh, does end up getting the cannon in hand there. I don't know what Boomy's plan was exactly, but I mean, how about this cannon too? I mean, cannon is such a hard hitting weapon as it is. And I mean, you get one good string and that's a stop goodbye. Yeah, the problem is this cannon has not been able to find too many hits against Boomy, especially with so low on HP for both of these stocks. You have to play so careful, spacing more important than the actual hits you get. Boomy's able to get it though, brings Wubs away and that's a full stock lead. Yeah, like, there you go, just juggling some battle boots to the process as well. But as we move forward here, we're going to see exactly what Wubs has to say back. Finally getting on the board here with a stock in game three. And they, they really need this too. I mean, they need to try and keep up this momentum they had coming out of game two because man, Booby is answering back with something fierce at the moment. Uh, he's got a message to, to throw back at Wubs for sure. And hey, look, I don't blame Boomy. Just lost game number two. It's up for the redemption factor to see. Okay, you know what? You got your one. Let me get the other two real quick. Gauntlets go down. Wobs tries to make the recovery. Unarmed Boomy. Seemingly unstoppable. That's going to be game number three in Boomy's favor. And Boomy went down there for a little bit of extra sauce. <laughs> just, just because they could. They didn't, I don't think they got anything out of the process. But still, I mean, just kind of going down there and say, look, I got a stock to play with. If I mess this up, like, I'm still winning. So... <laughs> Uh, but yeah, man, that's a this is a very tested set so far. And as we go into game four here, Boomy with the two one lead. I'm very interested to see what Wubs is going to do. Exactly. We're currently at the stage ban process here. And we'll see how this plays out. But I mean, you look at the damage dealt and this is, this is something I think we've seen in every game so far. It's been like one person just barely not reaching 500. Right. And then the, the person who lost is sitting around the 200 range it's just been dominance one way or another there's there's been no like real close game all games have just been like them beating the hell out of out of another and just kind of going crazy with it yeah i mean it's again the, the meta right now is like really brute force and we we were seeing a lot, a lot with uh europe and south america yesterday where it was like guitars versus spear and the spear in theory is a great idea but when you have to just get so up close and personal and you're able to just find so much melting potential against another them uh your enemy player stocks it's like you, you can't find that proper spacing and i think that's the big struggle of the cannon right now a lot of potential openings coming up from wubs but again you need that proper space and Boomy's not allowing Wubs to find that space on Sakura. Now that the guitars are out and Boomy throws away the gauntlets, even unarmed, this is still a struggle. But Boomy puts on his big boy boots and he's got them going on. Wubs, though, off stage, trying to find that opening yet again, but only now a little bit more success with his offstage play. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely kind of wash, rinse, and repeat here. Oh no, you make one mistake. And that's the thing, man. You can't be making these mistakes against Boomy, but the same goes for Boomy. You can't be making those mistakes against Wubs. Both players capitalizing on the smallest mistakes against each other. And that actually leads to Wubs having a nice little lead going into this game four tries with the down air, just not able to get back to stage safely. Boomy did get a hit or two in there, but now Boomy trying to find a way to answer back as well. Trying to close out the stock here. Goes for the sig, misses though. And now Wubs back on the offensive part here. And I'm glad oh. you mentioned that because Boomy closing out that first stock was the win condition, at least thus far. Wubs has barely had a huge lead so far in any of these games. Boomy, though, usually ended up with a one or two stock lead towards the end. But if Wubs can keep this competitive, it may be able to take a little bit more of a lead here. That just ensures that we could very well go to a game five. Absolutely. Uh, but right now, ooh, looking a little bit scary ooh. there. Ooh. When a cannon starts chasing you, you know that you're in, a, in danger, like straight up, especially after a few hits. You're like, oh, man, where is this going now? But Boomy finding a way back down to ground, down to safety. But again, this is a situation we've seen from players a few times now where they make like a play to get an attack or something and end up putting themselves way off stage and just kind of getting edge guarded in the process. Look, it just keeps going back and forth, man. And besides the lance, these are probably the two best horizontal weapons you could have in the game. Not the guitars, the cannon, but it just makes the <laughs> offstage play a lot more scary for both of these players. And that's why we're seeing a big return to the neutral game, a lot more grounded gameplay, a lot of onstage ledge guarding too, but only Boomy's really making that stride to go for a deep play on the battle boots. Two to two, deep red, Boomy's offstage, and now Wubs picking up that cannon could be huge. Send Boomy off the map! Yeah, 
beautiful play from Wubster. Uh, definitely a mess between the two as they uh, are struggling to get these hits that they need. <laughs> these guys are, they're throwing, they're just throwing haymakers, right? Yeah. So this is definitely looking a little bit tough, but ooh, this is getting a little really interesting here. Wubster was able to get any extra credit, and now we're into a last stock scenario in game four. Like, Wubs, you gotta make a play here. This is the elimination bracket. It's, it's do or not, like, let's be honest. It really is, because Wubs has been that lower bracket demon, taking down various names thus far. But Boomy, this will be their first game in the lower bracket for Winter Champs. They got defeated by Stingray, and now they're trying to make that revenge run again. The spark absolutely lit for both these players here. Offstage play again. Wubs is going for a bit of a Hail Mary, but no! The ledge guard sink Ooh. doesn't connect, and now Boomy overextends. Yeah, Boomy, yeah, he was definitely trying to go for a way to close off the set there and was really close. And these guys continue to just trade blows back and forth. And the thing is, is Wubs, you can definitely see that they're trying to dial it back a bit. I think they're definitely going for some whiff punishes here, just not able to quite get the hits that they're looking for exactly. Oh, but they got the cannon. Okay, Boomy did get the boots back. They both toss weapons at each other trying to get that new weapon pickup. Oh, the Wubs doesn't have any grounded control. Boomy's finding all the startups. Uh-oh, and that's gonna be it! Oh my goodness! Wow, what a great series from both of these players, but Boomy, I mean look, Boomy did Boomy things, amazing work to be seen all throughout, but again, I want to give a lot of credits to Wubs, I love the micro plays that we had seen, the adjustments too, no less, and towards the end of that last game skip, we were seeing a lot more cannon than probably what we would typically see. Sakura mm -hmm. has cannon in guitars, and we've been seeing so much guitars in every region this tournament. But with the cannon coming out, it was designed to put Boomy on a bit of a, you know, the fire under their seat. And it worked out super well, but towards the end, Boomy's just adapted so well to the boots that it's become a brick wall. Absolutely, I think you're certainly correct there. But I mean, let's just take a look at some of these stats if you just weren't watching the game.